Hey, Pete. I'm working on a college application, and it says I gotta tell them about myself. More like sell yourself. That's the worst. You got any advice? Well, take me. Hi, I'm Peter Parker. I'm 25 years old, I have a bachelor's degree in biophysics, and I'm in love with the greatest woman ever. <laughs> Humble brag. Who is the best journalist in this city. Word. Go, MJ. I try to live up to the example set by the other greatest woman ever, my Aunt May. Humble brag again. Damn. And a while back, I was bitten by a radioactive spider and got superpowers. I, I can't put that in my essay. Hey, I'm laying the track as I drive the train. <clears throat> I've used my powers to help the city and stop a lot of people who wanted to hurt it. Like my mentor, Dr. Otto Octavius. His lab got shut down by an old colleague, Norman Osborne. Otto retaliated by releasing a bioweapon. In the end, I managed to stop Otto. But not without great cost. That was pretty good. But I'm no Peter Parker. Exactly. You're Miles Morales. You're 17 years old and a student at Brooklyn Visions Academy. What else? I guess I <clears throat> help out with my mom's work in Harlem every now and then. Uh, she's Councilwoman Rio Morales. And there is a girl I like who's spectacular and inspiring. And I think is one of the best artists in the city. And I also got bitten by a radioactive spider that gave me superpowers. I learned how to be a Spider-Man from the OG. But I learned how to be a hero from my dad. He was killed by Martin Lee in the city hall bombing. The good I try to do every day is the good my dad planted in me. But it's been hard. Even with superpowers, sometimes we can't save the people we love, no matter how hard we try. A hero is someone who doesn't give up, though. And I don't plan to. I don't know, man. I can't talk about me without talking about Spider-Man. Sure you can. You just have to... Uh... Yeah, why don't you just start another draft? You're ready. Are you good? Promise me something. Anything. If this doesn't work, take me out. It'll work. I don't have a lot of time left. I want a chance to say goodbye. I'm not going to lose you. I will never let you go. Have a bell for a reason? Take your seats. I'm here! Good morning, class. We have a new teacher joining us today. Hi. My name's Pete. My, my, my Mr. Mr. Parker, uh, and we are all very lucky today because this is physics class, and physics is awesome. <coughs> Ever wonder 
how some insects and uh, birds, reptiles, can just run right across a pond? Two words, surface tension. Bathroom. Okay. Now, surface tension is all about cohesion. Hmm? Okay. Now, in equation form, surface tension, gamma, can be calculated as the force exerted parallel to the surface of a liquid. F divided by the length, L, of the line over which the force acts. Can anybody? Uh, I, I, I need your help. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Morales, is it? Uh, are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. Uh, read chapter four or five or whatever. Miles, I need this job. If the principal comes back and sees I'm gone, I'm gonna get fired. I know, but you gotta see this. Today, I'm so getting fired. Principal Evans already hates me for being late this morning. Bro, I told you to be on time. It's fine. We'll be back before we know it. It's good, because I had my college application review with the school counselor. Oh, you finished your essay? I haven't started. Oh, well, let's get to the city and take care of Marco quick then. Hey, MJ. Hey, guys. You might want to get downtown fast. Swing it through Brooklyn. Jameson have you on the ground for the bugle? I still can't believe old Triple J is your new boss. <laughs> really loving the new regime. You'll whip him into shape in no time. So, what's up with Marco? It's been years since our last showdown. According to witnesses, he was running down Broadway yelling nonsense. They say he seemed angry and, and paranoid, delusional. He just exploded. Man, hopefully we can calm him down. I've seen people lose control like this. Be careful. Good thing there, too, Spider-Man, now. Good luck. Thanks, MJ. Might need the new tech we've been cooking up, too. No way. They're untested. Barely prototypes. But you brought them, right? No comment. Yeah. <laughs> 
set Mr. Airstick down, but not before he bombed on my suit. He's not the only one. Sandman just puked out some new friends. What the? He can do that? Apparently. Need you now. Mr. Parker? I'm sorry, who's this? Principal Evans. Of course, Principal Evans. All F students have evacuated their classroom. Where are you? Uh... Mr. Parker! I just... I forgot! It's the... Oh, something in my car! What was that? Nothing! I'm just... Uh... Don't think we got him right where we want him? Why is it? I mean, 
spoken too soon. And he's definitely getting bigger. Keep climbing. We're so close. The water tank. Spider-Man? I just wanted to live normal, like everyone else. This isn't the way, Marco. For a guy like me, there is no other way. I just wanted a regular life. You can still have one! It's too late now. Oh man! Marco just make fan castles instead. Come on, everything okay? I'm with Pete. I know. You're on every channel. I'm heading downtown to help coordinate resources and supplies. Is Genki covering for you at school? He is. But I got this meeting with my counselor later, and the principal thinks that I'm. Listen, I can talk to your principal, but New York needs you right now. Coolest mom ever. And please. Careful. Te quiero, mijo. Like Ma said, can't let New York down. Break out 
given no toys. The suit's last software patch wasn't stable, but here goes nothing. <laughs> the web wings? They're flying, but we're not out of this yet. Marco's in Pier 4 Beach. What happens if he gets all that sand? I think he just did. I'm gonna need you ASAP, Miles. Yeah, I see him all right. I'm right behind you. Innocent people are in danger! You care about them, but not me. They wouldn't listen to Marco, so they can't ignore Sandman. It's gonna be okay. I haven't been okay for a long time. If you need help, all you have to do is ask. You're the ones who are gonna need help when they come for you.
You grow slow in your old age, Sergei. A fate you will not share. I have been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. Light the fires. The great hunt begins. 